So this video is going to be all about how to grow Saracenia pitcher plants. And these are North American pitcher plants and they are incredibly easy to grow. And I know I say that in most of my videos that, oh, this plant is so easy to grow, but these are really simple. There's really just a few basic requirements you have to keep in mind. Standard carnivorous plant care applies. Carnivorous plants grow in nutrient-free soil, so what you're going to want to find is long-fibered sphagnum moss or peat moss that's free of any fertilizers or added chemicals, and the same goes for the perlite. You just want something that's pure 100% perlite with no added fertilizers. And what I like to do is I mix up about 50% peat moss to 50% perlite. That's enough to drain really well, but also holds moisture. As for watering, I would recommend using distilled water, rain water, or reverse osmosis water. Although I've watered these a couple times with just tap water and they didn't really care at all. These like to stay wet, so you don't really ever want them to dry out too much. Although I've occasionally had that happen and they don't really seem to care about drying out for a day or two um, but pretty much you always want to keep the soil moist so some of them you can just stick in a tub of water I know there's different uh, Saracenia where some like it wetter and those would be the purpurea and the Cittacina pitcher plant another thing you want to do is you want to provide a lot of sunlight for these so pretty much you can grow them in full sun outdoors and you can do that year round because eventually they'll start going dormant in the winter time and you don't really need to bring them inside because Saracenia are really really cold hardy. Even some things like the parrot pitcher plant which is from Louisiana, it can tolerate really really cold weather. So I've had all these snowed on, um, the pot is frozen in a solid brick of ice and they didn't even lose any foliage they were actually still green and these some of these pictures are still from last year and they're just now starting to die off so these are really really cold hardy plants what will happen later on in the year is that these saracenia will start making phyllodia and basically what that is, is instead of a nice pitcher it'll just be sort of a flattened blade sort of like a really flat blade of grass and there's really no need to worry. I know some people say, oh, that's not enough sunlight, but if it's happening in the fall and winter time, it pretty much just means that there's less natural sunlight now, and so the plants are gonna be producing those leaves to help it photosynthesize. So I know some people, they wanna fill the pitchers up with water, uh, but a lot of Saracenia, they actually just trap insects with the uh, dynamics of the tube. So these stay empty with no water, uh, the bug flies in, and just because of the hairs that are pointing downwards and the structure of the tube, the insect can't fly out. Um, the only ones you want to add water to are something like uh, purpureas or purpurea hybrids and you can tell because the uh, top of the pitch or the hood will be opened. Um, if it has a hood that's covering the lid, obviously it doesn't want any water in it, but if it's something like a purpurea where the hood is just opening up and collecting water, then it's going to want to have water in the pitcher all the time to be able to digest the insects. One last thing I thought I'd mention is that sometimes these pitchers will fall over. So what you can do is you can put wooden uh, poles into the pot and then tie a string around it so it'll stay up in a nice upright bundle. And also during the summertime, sometimes they'll just be so packed full of insects it becomes heavy and topples over or the pitcher will start rotting because there's so much uh, bugs in there and they're all just decomposing. And really there's nothing you can do about it, it's just the natural process that this plant goes through. So that's about it for growing Saracenia. All you really need to remember is that they need to be outside in full sun pretty much year round. The soil should be kept moist and never allowed to dry out. Don't fertilize them, water them with rainwater or distilled water. And once they start going dormant around November, you can leave them outside. 
Uh, they won't freeze to death. They're really cold hardy, but if it gets too cold in the middle of winter, you can put them inside your garage or you can even bring them inside your house and just put them by a sunny windowsill or under grow lights.